and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Last time we entered the Pirate's Grotto, and this time we're getting bombarded with cannons. Uh, so let's do this, and also go in here, and uh, for this fight, Power Jump is not helpful, so I think I'm... Okay, what's this do? Confused. That doesn't help. Uh, we are going to use... Probably, uh, sure, just leave that. Uh, actually, a super hammer probably would be a better option, but I've got <laughs> nothing more deep or complex than that. I just forgot. So, these are bullet bill cannons. You may recognize bullet bill cannons because we fought a ton of them in the first game. I'm pretty sure you can actually skip this fight if you're really, really good. Sadly, I'm not. Like, I think if you use, like, or, or maybe I'm thinking of a skip in the first game. Uh, max HP 5, defense 2. Um. So, yeah, you wanna. Actually, that's good RNG. Because we can actually just walk right past it and do this. It's cake. Uh, sometimes they shoot them high, sometimes they shoot them low. Uh, getting them shot high is actually good because you can still hammer the cannon. Uh, case in point. We can actually get away with a regular hammer. Sadly, we cannot take out both bullet bills. We can only take out one. So, a little bit of a bummer, I suppose. Also, bullet bills, because they literally have 2 HP, they give no experience. Super Guarding is really good, but it's also really hard because the timing window is really short. Which is a good thing in this game, that timing windows do seem to get shorter for super guards, less obvious, less telegraphed. So, 35, so that's... okay. That's 5 levels of HP, 5 levels of FP, and 4 levels of BP. So, we're going BP. Um, I have to do that every time, which is weird, because you'd think I'd actually have a better memory than that, but I don't. Especially when recording on different sessions. This is a separate day because I didn't get much recording done yesterday because of medical issues. That's beside the point though. Uh, hammer throw. Want that for a little bit later. Ice drive actually wouldn't be a bad idea in this area. Or ice smash. Uh, not a bad idea. And, uh, shrink stomp. Just because I literally have nothing else to equip. <laughs> Uh, we don't need coins. We'll get a ton next chapter. This is a waterfall. Um, and a sluice gate. Sluice? I don't know how to say it. It looks like sluice, but I think it's sluice. I might also be completely wrong here. Uh, okay. Bulky bombs. We have already tattled because of the Pit of 100 Trials. They have a lot of defense. Oops. They have a lot of defense, and actually are... Some of the... Well, actually, they don't attack you directly. They actually will just... They, they attack by lighting themselves on fire, basically. Uh, you can use a fire move or an explosive move to instantly set them off, but then you also still take the damage. So, unless you're in a hurry, don't do that. Uh, anything? Nope. Must be a swear. Um... Okay, locked door, that's suspicious. And we have a blue ember, no, an ember. Uh, it actually weirds me out that the, um... Uh, no wait, that makes perfect logical sense. What am I saying? I, w I was gonna say, it doesn't make sense that the blue embers are weaker, I mean are stronger, but it actually does, scientifically speaking. Blue flames are hotter than red flames, so it actually does make sense that they are blue and have more health. Do this, um, or, there we go. Uh, you can also, wait, you can't use coops for that, because it's out of range. So, also I think these guys we fought in the Piv Hunt Trials off screen as well. Okay, lots of, lots of pit enemies. And more still to come, like I said, there's still one in chapter uh, 6 that actually is from the pit that uh, I fought off screen. Uh, okay, that was a wasted turn. 
Uh, yeah, the fog, to be honest, is the worst effect because it literally just takes forever. It doesn't help you at all, it just makes the fight take forever. Uh, <laughs> exactly. Every attack missed. Literally every attack that turned missed. And that is not something that happens every day in this game. Also, if you don't do the perfect action command against a, um... Parabeetle, it will actually land, I think, right side up. So you have to actually do the perfect action command to get to land on its back. Not 100% sure, but I recall that happening. Same with Koopas. The only way to get them from para form to on the ground is to actually do a perfect action command. Um, which, frankly, is not hard. It sounds really impressive, but it's really not. There we go. Door open. So through this door, we have more spooky voices. Turn back, ooh, go no further, you will never leave. Yeah, sure, what the, what the heck. Okay, so here? Ah, uh -huh. there we go, here. Uh, hilarious quick kill you can actually get on these guys is to do this. <laughs> uh, if, again, you're, you're at, at good HP level, this is a good quick kill. Because this will basically take them all out. Um, it's actually really hard to block, actually. Um, but, see, so you get a ton of EXP, and again, it just, it's convenient. So if convenience is what you're worried about, uh, that's a good way to easily finish off uh, these guys. Bob, we got the panel! I'm trying to get Oh, I already got that sword piece. Never mind! So... Again, this reminds me a little bit of Lava Lava Island. Or Lava Lava Volcano, technically, in its whole scope, but it's a little bit more... It's a little less linear, I think. Um, but it's got that same kind of vibe to it. I released X too early, because... I don't know. So this is actually a cool strat you can do if you're speedy. Um, is to basically jump over, grab the key, and then hurry back. Oops. <laughs> uh, okay, that wasn't the, the quick strat. Uh, so, well, we don't have to do the quick strat now. All you have to do is now is just jump on here. I think you can make it in one continuous motion, but it's not something I've ever done. Ride this up, and you get a star piece. Not ah, star piece, shine sprite. This is the star piece. Um... So we got a key, which obviously goes to the door we just passed. Like this part, right here, looks very Lava Lava Island. Uh, like the one Lava Waterfall. Except they're actually waterfalls, not Lava Waterfalls, which I'm totally okay with. Um, so I'm pretty sure there's something behind this waterfall. Yes, there is. Uh, sadly, we can't swim because we're paper. Okay, drop down here. And use the key. Uh, that's like Koops' only use in this chapter, sadly, for him. Parabeetles galore. So we, we won't be fighting these guys, it'll just take forever. Uh, but there's a star piece. Sadly, they're making it very difficult to get the star piece. Uh, get off, Bobbery. Get off the panel! I'm trying to get a star piece. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, that's actually... Blah, that's actually the last art piece of chapter... 5. So, we're done. We don't have to scour as much. I take back what I said, that was, that was actually Koops' last use of the chapter. Um... This, I think, is too fast to use Rivian. Uh, so you have to actually use Tube Mode. I might be wrong. Um... This block here... Uh, a coin block, actually, not just a single block. Uh, shine Sprite, uh, and voila, ouch. <laughs> voila, ouch. Smooth platforming. If you're feeling really not confident, you can use Yoshi. Uh, it's a little bit hard for me. This has always been difficult for me because of the fact that the platforms kind of sway a bit like that. So it kind of throws off your momentum a little bit. Uh, Koops is actually a good partner here. Never mind. Koops actually is more useful than I... ...than I bled on. Um... Multi-bounce. 
Uh, and then Koops can finish off the Red Ember. Flick, and done. And a plane. Is it a bird? It's a plane. No, it's a Koopa. Okay. Uh, yeah, Zap Tap is really good because pretty much everything attacks directly in this whole section of the game. So it's just really convenient to just do damage like that. Uh, yeah, I actually do want to use Mario because he does more than Koops in this chapter. Like, see, that'll finish it off in one hit, so... Uh, I don't know... Yeah, I think Spin Jump uh, will actually do more damage than Power Jump on these guys. If I'm remembering right, I might not be. There we go. Silish 1, Silish 2. I'm gonna get the Super Guard 1 these days. Again, if I had audio cues, I'd probably get it better. Uh, it's just, without audio, it's hard to get an audio cue. <laughs> um, I should just plug headphones straight into the TV, but I always forget. Because I have to then switch back and forth between plugging them into the computer and the uh, TV. So I just like leaving them in the computer for some reason. And we have another bullet bill room. Uh, okay, voila, done. Uh, two bullet bill cans this time. This area kind of sucks to be honest. Uh, my advice would be to use Yoshi actually. And first striking doesn't matter in this battle particularly because uh, this battle takes no time. This. Also, that super is really hard. Um, see, Yoshi just. Yoshi ignores defense. Sort of like what in that regard? Also being the baby of the party, kind of the what. So yeah, Yoshi's kind of like a ton of the partners rolled into one. Uh, I accidentally forgot to hit the button, so I just decided to wait for the next cycle. And equipping Yoshi again. Yeah, you have to be pretty quick to the menu. Also, these amazing daisies, not mazies, the crazy daisies, have a unique attribute in that they can put the rest of the audience to sleep. Meaning, you can't get star points. So you get half star points. Even with stylish commands, you don't get much. So yeah, the daisies kind of suck. Um, boat panel again. No quick kill because I'm kind of running low on health, so... <laughs> Best not push my luck. Um, do I? No. Shoot, I already used the uh, thing. Um, or tremor. <laughs> I had to stop and think. What's the best course of action here? It's like it's our tremor. Uh, just because of SP use and uh, the fact that, frankly, uh, I want to speed this battle along. I could be cutting battles, I know, but it's like, this chapter's so short anyway. Once you get past, like, the bulk of the chapter, which is just running back and forth across the island, it's a really short chapter, actually. Uh, we're already, like, more than halfway through the chapter. Um, already in one episode. Technically two episodes. I did not mean to despawn the coins. That was not intentional. Uh, over here, we have a sunken ship. This looks really cool, by the way. Nice little effect. But unfortunately, we have another one of these turkeys. P down, D up. Not good. Not a fan. Just doesn't fit my playstyle. Um... <laughs> cut. Let's bury the prologue and just curse you already. And he's like, oh man, you ruined all the fun. <laughs> I've been practicing this speech. Force chest that you've met. Are you serious? So are you saying you know exactly how this is all going to turn out? Man, talk about Rod. Yo, you're a twist little guy, you know that? Okay, fine. I get the picture, okay? All I wanted to see was the face of some unlucky soul when I popped out. Dang it. <laughs> Ruined it. Ruined through the fun of this chest. Um... Okay, so to actually get the key, we have to fight these guys. I thought that was a spin jump, uh, which is a problem I have with this. Uh, sometimes the first strike on the spin jump does not exactly register as it's supposed to. So it's a little finicky. Um, that stylus is also really hard. Uh, Yoshi's are kind of tough, and Vivian's. 
uh, because it's a very tight time window. And this drops the key. I was standing in frame perfect spot. Um, that was good, some speedrunning strats right there. <laughs> I'm just thinking of Super Mario 64 where they always have to stay on the one spawn wops fortress when they were trying to get the key. Not the key, the star. I can never do that. I've never gotten to start the, the quick star in Womp's fortress, by the way. Blah, blah, blah. I don't even care because we've heard this spiel three times already. Um. Square even suffer like those sorts of awkward worms. Like an anime fan on prom night. Um. <laughs> I have a feeling everyone here is going to say that. It's like the meme of 2016. Um, so this turns us into a paper boat, which is really handy, actually. Um, and also turn back and use a panel. So we saw two panels in the last room, so I guess we kind of know where to use these. Okay. Um, so they do throw out an interesting point after this cutscene. Yeah, I get it. Let's move on. <laughs> uh, here it comes. You know, that curse dude ain't half bad. See, there's that implication that they're actually sort of trying to help us. Why they have to disguise it as a curse, I have no clue, but they are trying to help us. That bottle has like three frames. That looks really janky, actually. <laughs> um... But enough nitpicking graphics, we have an adventure to continue now that we have all of the partners and now that we have all of the abilities, I think. No, we're missing the ultra boots and ultra hammer. Oops. <laughs> Whoops. I, I pressed it, but it didn't happen just because of the whole swayingness of the boats. Uh, I like to jump on them a couple times, I've got my strat until now, to let it rise up to an even level. Uh, and then back to this room, I'm showing all the backtracking, I don't know why. Uh, we'll be coming at this room from a different angle, that's part of it. So you see the waves. Yeah, that's not good for a paper boat, to get hit by a wave. Um, uh, in all fairness, I don't know if we should end off here or not, because it's like, we have like two minutes left. Well, more than two minutes, technically. But it's like, we're at a good stopping point, we just got to a save block. So I think what I'm going to do is get this, um, item behind the waterfall, and then end off. This is... I actually don't remember. <laughs> I flat out don't remember what this is. This is a... Defend plus P. That was really dumb. <laughs> Running straight off the edge. Okay. Now that we've got the defend plus P, which I'm not gonna use because I don't use defend plus badges. I'd prefer attack up to be honest. Uh, just because of how broken super guarding is most of the time. So, what we have to do is basically fall down the waterfall <laughs> next time. Actually, I don't know if there's anything over here. Uh, no, it's dead end. So next time, we'll be dropping off of a waterfall. That's gonna be fun. Ow. <laughs> this is the, the theme of this area. Ow. Uh, and see what awaits us deeper into the Pirate's Grotto. So thank you for watching, and I hope you join me next time for more Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door.